tidbits of how to improve endurance. Are there any other ways to improve endurance that are of relatively short time investment, even if they require a lot of um, energy? And there's a whole bunch of, of things you can do um, in under one minute um, that are convenient to do. And there's a, a wonderful set of papers um, out of a couple of laboratories in Canada that, that champion this idea that's called exercise snacks. So there's a bunch of, there's a series of studies that have been done here that are really interesting. And they've looked at a couple of things that are noteworthy. One of them is a 20 second bout of all out work. And this is actually done in workers in an office. And so what they had them do is run upstairs. And I believe it was about 60 steps is, is what it took them. Something along the order of 20 seconds exactly. And they repeated that um, about once every four hours. So really it's just, you go to work, you get, you know, put your coffee in your bag down or whatever, you run up a flight of stairs, 20 seconds later, then you go right back to work at lunch. And before you go home, you sort of repeat it there. Um, and if you repeat that, that's multiple times a week, you're going to do that. I think they, in one of the interventions, it was three times a week for six weeks, 18 total times you did that. And what you'll see is um, a, a noticeable improvement. And this is statistically significant improvements in cardiorespiratory fitness, specifically VO2 max, as well as a number of cognitive benefits, work productivity, Etc. That can happen in as little as 20 seconds. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to shower. You don't have to do anything like that. Just find the stairs, um, run up and down them a few times. Now you may have noticed, um, you actually sort of caught me yesterday. I did that right here, right? I was just, I, we had a little bit of a break. I was feeling an energy lull. I ran up the stairs three or four times, felt a, a lot better. So that can actually also help. They ran another study where well, they looked at that following a giant high glycemic index meal. And what they saw, and then they, they took insulin measures and, and a whole bunch of um, other biological markers associated that you want to be pay attention to with the high glycemic index meal. And they looked at those immediately, an hour, three hours, six hours, as opposed. And it was very clear that same intervention was able to improve postprandial glucose control, insulin, and a whole bunch of other factors um, in addition to that. So if you are the sort of type who's like, wow, I'm in an office all day, maybe also had a giant uh, high glycemic index meal, not the best approach, but a little bit of mitigation there can just be running up a flight of stairs or doing something like that for as little as 20 seconds. So there's a lot of magic and power in maximal exertion. If one does not have access to a flight of stairs at work, could they do jumping jacks? Absolutely. I mean, you could do anything you really wanted. Um, it's not the mode of exercise that matters here. It is simply the exertion. Um, you just get up as, as hard as you can. You could do burpees. You could do any number of things. Um, you could sprint down your road, down the hallway, back and forth. Um, it, the mode is, is just uh, something that was easy for the scientists to control. And X number of steps, people could do it. You're not going to fall, hurt yourself, things like that. Just to remind me, it's once every four hours, one minute of all 20 out. seconds. Oh, 20 seconds, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, 20 seconds of essentially all out exertion yep. while remaining safe, not yep. going so fast up the stairs or doing jumping jacks and so fast. And certainly not down the stairs, up the stairs, please. Right. 